What is up, friends? Welcome to Zombie Land. Me and Cochran got the call today. We're heading back to Groundhog Patrol. Got a farmer that called us up, said he's infested with groundhogs, so we're in the truck, heading over there now, and getting ready to get set up. He says he's got three in sight. So come with us. It's Groundhog Devastation Time once again. Just arrived here on the farmer's place. I'm gonna talk kind of loud. I don't have my wireless mic on, but the farmer's mowing the grass, and he gave us a little walk through the property. He's got a barn over here. It's probably got eight or ten holes inside of it where these groundhogs are tearing up the foundation. He's out here mowing the yard. Just seen three of them less than an hour ago running around in the grass. So we got new property, and we got the big camera back out today, which we're happy about because we've been squirrel hunting. It's been raining. And we just can't run the big camera in the rain, so we're happy to have it back out. We've got the lawn chair set up. We're gonna sit in the shade and wait on these groundhogs to come out and make a move. What do you think? Let's go for it. So we just got everything set up on this new property. And we were talking to the landowner. I noticed there's a field back here in the back. Looks like it just got mowed or whatever. And I said something to him about coyotes because he knows I'm an old coyote hunter, me and Jamie. I said, you need to turn us loose on these coyotes. And he said, absolutely. So he's got a bunch of fields, including freshly cut hay fields. So once again, we're licking our chops. He's going to take us on a grand tour when we get done shooting a couple groundhogs here. And we'll get on some coyote country. We've been waiting on some cut hay fields something that we can actually see the coyotes that's what's got us held up right now we can't see them so we're in sniping mode right now waiting on some groundhogs to come out and bring y'all some whistle pig action stand by we just made a blooper reel <laughs> spotted a groundhog came out down here beside the barn so we closed in on him i was probably 50 yards from his hole we went around the other end of the barn to where we could get within 20 yards of his hole. We get over there, we get set up. Now we're sitting in the sun, we're waiting on him to come out. <laughs> and I tell Jamie, <clears throat> look, there's another one over here running 10 feet in front of where we were posted up at in these chairs, right by this little truck that's sitting here. Couldn't have been 10 feet away. So we hustled up back over here. Now here we are again. The guy was right. He's covered up with groundhogs. We're gonna get one down. We're gonna get two down. Hopefully we're gonna get three down. I'm gonna shoot the first one. Then I'm gonna let Jamie shoot his gun. Cause he's got a gun with him today. He's killed all of his groundhogs with my gun. So, we're gonna make it happen. So it never fails, it never fails. I'm getting antsy and getting ready to move. I just got through asking Jamie, what do you want to do? Because we've seen two, we've been here probably about an hour. We've seen two. And I was gonna shoot the, this groundhog. We were watching for him to come out. Jamie saw this little potential spot over here and spun around and watched that spot. I told him, I said, if he comes up over here, I'll jump on the camera. So I did. This groundhog stood up and started feeding, man. And Jamie put the snipe on him. 
So that's one down. The farm owner is a uh, farmlander. I, I, I'm so jacked yeah. up. He's mowing grass. He's too. mowing grass. That's what I'm trying to say. He's still mowing grass. We're going to go pick this one up and then move maybe to another spot on over here somewhere. But one down. A few more to go. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? Still got food in his mouth? Yeah. Still leaf in his mouth? Hold on. <laughs> well, he was at this new spot. Keith was looking over to the south. He saw this one groundhog cross behind a pickup truck with his bean field. So we went, sat back down and waited. And finally, this one here showed up right by the round bale, just eating the beans. The camera was kind of facing the wrong way, so Keith finally got to the camera moving real slow and, and got on him, so then I made the shot on him. There's one more down on this farm. Hog number two down. You're still recording and flopping? Yeah. So I learned something on this hunt right here. We had, we just about give up on this groundhog come out of this barn. And I told Jamie, I said, well, let's go film some cutaway. Let's film where he's coming out at. Let's film all the holes and wherever the farm showed us. Let's film all this stuff. Walked up on top of the hill. The sun's hitting us in the eyes here wasn't where we were sitting at but it's hitting us in the eyes when we were walking up i got within 15 yards and that groundhog was sitting there and he ran inside the barn so we sat here and waited him out did some sniping <laughs> number two down and landowner is going to be tickled to death mm -hmm. so we're going to wave at him he's over here at the barn drinking beer and we told him we'd drink on with him if we uh killed one of his groundhogs so we may have to soak one down with him but we're pretty much wrapped up for the evening anyway, so we can do that. So we're gonna go pick this hog up. I'm gonna get the landowner in on this and we'll see you over there where he's laying. Oh, that 17 poured it on him. <laughs> see that? Yep. I didn't have much of a shot on him with that head sticking out of there. And I'm not sure Jamie wasn't able to really see him, but did you see him at all on the camera? I barely, I saw something move slowly. Yeah, and I told Jamie, I said, be watching for any little sudden change in, in that scenery there, that concrete sticking out, and I seen something move there, and there was his head. He's a pretty good size one. He is. We'll put him next to the other one, see how they measure up. Well, I gave him a shot pretty much right here in the neck. I like that head shot, but I, I couldn't see it. There's some grass there. Another groundhog down, and the farmer brought me a beer, so I'm gonna crack that open and enjoy that. <laughs> 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 
Victory celebration. Me and the farmer made a deal. He said, drink a, drink a beer per groundhog. So we got two down. And uh, here's the groundhog. So here's the hen. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go get some more. Making us a fur file here. I don't know. He's, I'll tell you what. We have to weigh them two to see which ones, which one's longer, Jamie. Yours? This no, yours. It's a couple inches longer. Looks so like. I tell you what, you're about. That one's solid. You see, you got your beans in, in his mouth there. This one's solid, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go try get another one. Well, we're wrapping up another hunt here this evening. We gained this spot today. Got a call from a farmer and wanted me to come over and said he was infested with groundhogs and boy, he was right. <laughs> Took us about 20 minutes. We saw two, he had saw three while he was mowing and uh, we're gonna stay after him, but got two of them here, made him real happy. Got us a beer. <laughs> so we are supposed to drink a beer every time we kill one and uh, had we had more time, we might have been leaving here pretty south today, so just a good time, and we appreciate it, and thank you guys for watching us, and uh, stay with us. We're going to bring you some more action. What do you think? Good job for today. Have you ever you got the big one today. Are you listening? Damn.